Hello students, uh, welcome to this module number 2 that is uh, failure of uh, materials. In this chapter we are going to discuss about uh, some content of uh, failures. There is a fracture, fatigue, the types of fatigue, loading with examples and mechanism of fatigue. Okay, let us discuss uh, one by one uh, that the failure of materials. First we will discuss about a fracture. Okay. Okay, so what is meant by fracture? How you uh, going to understood this concept? The fracture is a separation or fragmentation of part into two or more pieces under stress. See, if you take any of the metal, uh, if you take a uh, put on loading on that, so it will be separation of uh, two or more pieces under the maximum stress. Okay, this stress could be a tensile or compressor shear or torsional type of stresses so whatever the kind of uh, stress so the finally the material is going, going to be get a failure or fracture so by uh, two or more number of pieces so when material is fail under cyclic load is uh, called what we call fracture or that is fatigue fracture whereas material under service at a high temperature uh, that can uh, fail due to the creep fracture so these are all different uh, types of uh, failures that uh, are going to be discussed in detail. So, now, what are the fundamentals of a uh, uh, fracture? So, mainly the fracture, uh, first of all, the fracture is one of the important uh, uh, key in the field of material science uh, in engineering. Okay, so when the fracture is uh, taking place, so it describes the different form of failures. Okay, uh, wherein in the material is separated into two or more pieces uh, to an applied stress. Tem so temperatures below the melting point of the materials. So it depends upon the type of uh, material of failures. May be termed as tensile failure, compressive failure, or shear failure. Okay, shear fracture. So different uh, uh, fracture will be there depending upon the load conditions. Okay. So we will discuss uh, now the very fundamental fractures is uh, one is a crack uh, uh, initiation or we call it as crack uh, uh, formation another one is crack propagation. Okay. Further the fracture is also uh, is going to be uh, broadly divided into two categories. One is uh, ductile material, the material which are selected. So one is for ductile fracture, another one is uh, brittle fracture. Okay, let us discuss what is meant by ductile fracture. Okay, so this ductile fracture uh, is nothing but it absorbs the large quantity of energy before failure. Okay, before failure. So in other words, what we can say, the material uh, of deformation, uh, large amounts of plastic deformation before the failure. Okay, so the various stages of this involved ductile material uh, failure uh, is uh, shown in the next slide. Okay various uh, form okay so first one is it to start with the uh, ductile fractures uh, fracture uh, in which the specimen needs the down point okay and second is moderately ductile fracture after some uh, necking okay and then brittle fracture without any plastic deformation so these are all these uh, some uh, um, stages how it is going to be uh, fracture okay next one is uh, the most common type of tensile fracture as uh, preferred for the ductile material is uh, represented here so we'll let us discuss uh, step by step uh, the first figure shows uh, initial necking okay so how would the neck keep forming uh, that is uh, it behaves elastically up to the uh, limiting uh, stress and it further uh, leading with the uh, beyond the stress and plastic deformation occurs and the stress is increased so the cross section area of the material is also decreases so then the neck region is going to be produced okay once the neck is formed it reaches to the next stage that is uh, what we call cavity formation so that is a small cavity formation is going to be happening it is also called as micro crack so this will be happen uh, at the neck region and it is a uh, small cavities are formed as shown uh, here in the figure so these cavities develops as uh, the uh, is uh, <coughs> the result of uh, stress 
and which is cause small particles of impurities or other uh, discontinuities in the material or either uh, or separate uh, from the uh, metal matrix okay and the third point is a uh, crack propagation okay or crack formation so the small cavity so then it is linked together so it will form a internal crack so whatever the previous uh, uh, that cavity formation is happen no? that will be connected together so and it forms a internal uh, crack and which is spread across the material and uh, in direction right angles to the applied tensile stress so that we can see in the figure that is c okay that is crack propagation and it is important uh, note that so crack remains stable uh, and resists further extension of unless uh, uh, the applied stress is going to be increased okay it will be depend upon again further uh, the stress is going to be increased then only it will be a uh, extension of the uh, crack propagations okay and uh, this crack propagation uh, finally propagates uh, the surface of the material by shearing action uh, direction in which the approximately 45 angle degrees to the uh, applied tensile force or tensile stress okay and finally what happen uh, that is uh, Uh, that is uh, fracture finally it is happened the fracture so this fracture uh, is uh, ha happening uh, the final shearing of the specimen produces a cup and cone structures of surfaces so cup cone uh, the cone shape is uh, adjacent to the connecting fracture surface hence the name is cup and cone fracture surfaces so that you can see here so fibrous and shear are going to be identified here so that is uh, if you are uh, sent uh, clearly if you want to understand how the cup and cone structure is happening that we can see here okay so this is the actual cup shape and cone shape of uh, failure or fracture for the aluminium so this is one of the best example for the uh, ductile material uh, for the uh, aluminium so next uh, we will discuss about the uh, some of the points related to the bitter material so bitter material is uh, one in which uh, uh, there is no uh, propagation or neck formation once if they take the load and it will be suddenly it will be failure for example glass is the best example for the bitter material okay there is no uh, cup and cone structure of the uh, structure after breaking or failure of the material okay we will discuss uh, some more points in the next uh, video thank you